Thanks for stopping by the Search T channel. I am Search T. And in this video, I will be doing my recap and thoughts, telling you what I felt about episode 6 of uh, Cobra Kai season 5 entitled Auroburos. Hopefully, I'm not uh, butchering that. That's the title of the, uh, the episode. In this episode, there was quite a lot to take in. We see Terry, you know, we see him, uh, sh you know, at the opening, we see someone, a oh, bunch of people stepping off a plane, and then we see this lady whose name is Kim Da Yoon, and she's the granddaughter of uh, Kim Sung Yong, the man who taught uh, Terry and taught Chris. Amongst others, you know, he taught the uh, in South Korea. He taught, uh, you know, the uh, not Korea, Vietnam, Korea. I believe it was Korea, right? Because he's Korean. You know, you know, I'm trying to say, but he taught them. He taught Korean soldiers. There you go, uh, the American soldiers that are, you know there. Um, and um, this girl's pretty badass. This girl. Uh, Definitely has a take no prisoners, uh, don't hold back, uh, you know, hit with all your might. No love taps here, guarantee, you know. Because Silver, you know, you see that he only recruits um, a group of senseis from South Korea. And uh, led, they're led by Kim Daeun. And they see them, you see them, uh, I mean, I guess Terry is not just opening up fresh new dojos Cobra Kai he's looking to take over and pretty much re uh, eliminate the competition they took over they take over a, a local dojo uh, Topanga Karate and pretty much uh, boots the uh, the sensei there he thought that he was going to be a sensei there but no that wasn't a part of the deal according to Terry you know how Terry is Terry can uh, can uh, kind of uh, sweep the rug from under you so he takes over that, he rebrands it, uh, Cobra Kai, and, uh, you know, he's going to merge that into the string of dojos that he's coming up with. I guess he's going to try to take over every dojo so until there's only Cobra Kai. So who are they going to compete against? You have, you have a, if you have a tournament, it's going to be like, uh, Cobra Kai. So pretty much it's going to be just an exhibition, it's Cobra Kai against Cobra Kai, I guess. And then they're always going to win. They're always going to win the tournaments. They're always going to win the, uh, the championships, you know? Um... Now, we see uh, Kim forcing the students into brutal combat. You know, brutal combat tournament to push them to the top. She's trying to see who is the who is worthy of their school. Who is the toughest one in every school, pretty much every school, that they're going to take over. You know, but then during this time, you know, Devin Lee from the Eagle Fang, a former student of... Uh, Johnny. She fails to de defeat um, Tori. It's a thing where they had bamboo on a on a step up, and a step up a platform, and Devin takes it away pretty easily. You know, blocks Tori. She spins around. She takes the, uh, yeah, right. She takes it from her. Now Kim, Kim Daun, pretty much says, uh, you know, you got to be, you got to hit harder. You got to be, you know. You got to do what you got to do to take that away from her and prevent her from taking that um, bamboo stick. The, 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 the prior orders were, the rules were, Devin takes it, but Tori's supposed to keep her from getting it. And then when she decides to listen to Kim, Sensei Kim, she ends up t doing so quite brutally. It's almost like if he had kept going, maybe... Uh, Devin would have had her wrist broken or arm broken, and she just, you know, hightails it out of there. And the next day, Devin uh, joins Cobra Kai, surprisingly. She thought, and hey, Tori said to Sensei Kim, she said, she left. She failed. He goes, no, nope. the test was for you. You know, that's what it was. It wasn't a test for Devin. And, um... Yeah, she's like, she joins Cobra Kai, but she was in to Topanga not too long. To Topanga Karate not too long. And then here she is with Cobra Kai now. Now, finally, 
what I like is that we finally get to see Crease in prison. Not finally get to see, he's been there, but for the sake of the TV series, he's we finally see him. And he's, of course, targeted by a bunch of inmates. One dude that's huge. I think I recognize him. He could be a wrestler. Big dude saying that, I'm going to take your red jello. I love red jello. I'm going to take them every day. At first, he's like going, okay, sure. You can take it. That's a fine deal. He's trying to be nice. He's trying to not do anything to jeopardize his plan. He wants to be Mr. Nice Guy so that he can have his parole. Uh, you know, his, you know, you know. He wants to really speed it up. You know what I mean? He wants to be paroled. Because you know what, what it is, man. He has a reason to get out of there, right? You, you know that, you know. So he's harassed by these students and, um, not these students, <laughs> these group of inmates. But he refuses to react, like I said, uh, hoping to get, uh, the par you know, a parole hearing so he can be released. Now, he discovers, we see him with, uh, receive a letter, crumples it up, throws it in the toilet, find out that he discovered that his parole hearing has been denied he's talking to a, a therapist earlier and you know she from the get-go knew what he was doing he was doing saying things that she that he wanted her to, to hear right and she's been in this for a long time she says that this is not the first time she's ever he's been in this long enough to know that you're just telling me what i want to hear and she's telling him straight up you need to you know Remember why you're here. We see him talking and all of a sudden the therapist turns into his girlfriend from years ago who died in a car crash. And then we see... Um, who was that? You know, the younger Johnny pretty much telling him that, no, you, you wanted us to be like you. You weren't trying to make us better. We see older Johnny. We see... Terry Silver, we see even his old sensei, I mean, not old sensei, but uh, his old commander, the one that he fought in the snake pit, remember, and he caused him to fall into the snake pit. Pretty much reminding him why he's there. Why he has to do what he has to do in order to get out of there. He has to make things right. I mean, we see earlier that he, you know, it's a visit from his granddaughter. I mean, that's what uh, Tori said. And then he's like, hi, granddad. And he's like, hi, granddaughter. So, so awkward. Because if you say that, you know, if you say your hi to your, she'll say grandpa, but he'll go like, oh, hi, Tori. Hi. You know, like, he's not going to say hi, granddaughter. Like, as if, he, he was, I'm pretty sure he didn't know. I'm pretty sure she, she told him that's my grandfather. So, you know, I mean, but she's there because she pretty much is like a spy. She's like staying with Cobra Kai so that she can give, you know, uh, so she can give uh, Crease the skinny, the lowdown on what's going on at Cobra Kai. And oh, I'm like going, I can't wait till he does get out. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope there's a showdown there between him and Terry. Might not happen in this episode. I mean, this episode, but in this uh, series, you know, this season, I should say. And, um, you know, I can't wait to, to see what happens. Hopefully. Because, you know, we're all rooting for him now. Even though he didn't show it much uh, concern when he found out that uh, Daniel got beat up by Terry. He's like, oh, well, one enemy out of the way. I mean, Tori's like, you, 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 you didn't, you didn't, um, that doesn't bother you? You don't, you're not affected by that, you know? And, you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's not going to turn overnight. He's not going to go, oh, you know, oh, that's, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, there's still a little bit of animosity between them. There's still a little of uh, history between them. He's not going to just go, oh, you know, but... You know, he probably is going to do it later in this, probably in this um, season. We'll see. So he'll, he'll realize that he needs to side with them because I'm looking at this. You know, I'm looking at this now. But before I get to that, you know, you know we see him, uh, we do see him uh, finally fight off uh, these guys. The big dude says, I'm here for your red, the red, my red jello. And then he punches, um, Kreese knocks him down and then when Kreese gets up he's this younger version and we see him taking all these guys out about five of them one guy had a shiv looking to stab him knocks that out of the way and then we see him 
as old crease now facing off against uh, the big guy and says that now I'm going to have your red jello. And he goes, yes. He, he goes, yes. And then he goes, yes, what? But yes, sensei. And so now he's got that under control and all the other inmates are just chanting sensei. That's probably going to be his nickname in prison now. And now he's probably going to get the, uh, he's got the respect now. So now it's like he can just focus on getting out and not having to deal with these idiots. You know. It's like with Robbie, he was trying to get out of uh, Juvie, and then he had uh, Kenny's older brother and his, and his goons um, fighting him too, you know. But um, now, Daniel, meanwhile, you know, he decides to give up karate. He gets up, he's already still banged up, but he's in a suit. Amanda's like, why are you in the suit? And I said, well, I can't show up at the car dealership you know without not dressed not in my suit and they were like why dan you know johnny's there and chosen is there even sam is there and he's like why you know like you know why are you going back and he's like going you know i gave up i'm give up you know and he's trying to follow what miyagi told him where you know you don't always have to fight he understood he even said i understood why uh miyagi oh mr miyagi always wa wa walked away from a fight but you know you, you know, we, we, but we do know that Miyagi is like, he never said that you don't, that you always get to go away from, a, you know, you always walk away from a fight. If you have to fight, you got to fight. You know, remember what happened with him and Chosen in Okinawa? He didn't walk away from that fight. It was an important fight. It was life and death. So he had to stay in that fight and defeat Chosen. Now, speaking of that, I just looked at it and I was thinking, how cool is it? That from Karate Kid 1, his arch nemesis was Johnny. 2 was Chosen. 3 was Barnes. Now, if Barnes is away now, of course, he got out of there. He hightailed it. He doesn't want to have anything to do with Daniel right now or anybody right now because of what Terry did to his furniture shop. Just burned it down. You imagine if he was there in this episode, you're looking at all three of his enemies at his side. Who knows? Maybe by the time this uh, season is up, He's going to have, uh, what do you call it, a crease on his side. You know, Terry's not going to be able to fight that. He's got his resources. He's got his money. You know, he's got his uh, connections. He's got some friends in high places. Maybe even low places, too, because you know how low uh, Terry can get. And uh, it was just so cool to see that. I cannot, understand, I cannot believe for the life of me how, how great that, that was, you know. And... Um, because of this, they decide, okay, well, Johnny wanted to go first, you know, because when they took over, when uh, when uh, Terry took over uh, Topanga Karate, you know, Sam had it on a, on her phone. It's happening right now. Like, they're like, well, when, when, is, this, when is this happening? You know, it's, ha it's live, you know, like, you know, like how everything now can be now on our phones and tablets and computers and everything. And they're watching it, and then Johnny's like, you know what, this is the perfect time to go there because he is, you know, right there. We know where he is. Let's go over there. And he's a hothead, you know that. Even Amanda says that. No, all due respect, you're you're like, you're like somebody who who doesn't think, you know, something like that. She even she even with a backhanded comment said that you're like a blunt instrument, you know. Chosen, you know, I, I forgot what you said about chosen, but they said that they needed Dan Daniel to kind of be the level-headed one and to lead them and not them. But you know, they decided to go anyway. I mean, she even says chosen, speak to me. He goes, yeah, he said. Uh, you know, going in there as you know, only one, one, you know, one person. You know, like a one-man army is not enough. It's not good. Don't do it. And she's all thanks. Chosen, speak to him. And then Chosen goes, "I'll go with you too." And he's like, "She's like, I'm. That's not what I meant." <laughs> so they both go, and uh, they confront the uh, they confront Silver at uh, Topanga Dojo, but they fight one of his new senseis instead. The guy was pretty damn good. He had both those guys uh, roll, reeling and. Had them, uh, you know, backing up at points, you know, but together they pretty much overtook, you know, they pretty much, uh, what's the word, but they were able to take them down, they were able to subdue them, they were able to just take them out of the picture, if you will. I mean, he wasn't going to fight anymore, but then in comes, uh, you know, Sensei Kim with her senseis and she's ready to fight. She even goes, oh, it's chosen. Taguchi from the, you know, you're, you're you're pretty far away from your pathetic little island, you know, talking about Okinawa. 
Yeah, pathetic little island. I've been to Okinawa, the station there. It's a beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful uh, part of uh, Japan. I've been in Hong Kong, too, and everything. But um, she then goes, and Daniel, you, uh, Daniel, son, you uh, heal quickly. And then Johnny's like, I'm not Daniel's son, you know. And uh, she wanted to fight, but then Chosen kind of taking a line from Karate Kid 1 when... They were going to fight, but then he goes to Johnny, you know, just, we can't fight. We can't fight them here. It's too much of an advantage. They're a dojo. So they're going to pick a, a time to fight. And it's going to be coming down to the pike. Whenever they're going to fight, it's going to be something. And I really want to see her in action, Kim Dong, because here she just taught these, she just taught the student. She just put her, you could tell that she's intense. You can tell that she's, she'll probably kick, um, you know, Terry Silver's ass with no, 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 without blinking. You know, she's the granddaughter of uh, their sensei, of Chris and Silver's sensei. So you know that she, yeah, she can get it done. I'm pretty sure she can. But the, you know, the final uh, part of it, and uh, it was, um, it took a lot. You know, they wanted to convince Daniel to uh, to lead them and guide them. Because without them, without him, there's there, there's no fight. They they can't go in there, you know, on their own. They can't go there even if there's a, a quite a quite a number of them. But you know, I mean, you got to remember he, uh, Terry how now has those senses and they look pretty fierce. They seen the one guy fight. So if the, all of the rest of them can fight like that, there is there's no stopping them, and they have to stop them. That's why they need Daniel. Now Daniel uh, was talking with uh, Amanda, but this was um, after she took him. They stopped at the, at the old uh, Miyagi's old place. We see the cars there going to the dojo. We see some familiar. It's like like what Daniel said. It's like it's a time capsule, going back to nineteen what eighty five, right there when uh, the Karate Kid. Um, you know, it's just like I I expected, wholly expected um, Mr. Miyagi to walk in there. It looked exactly like it. it. Took you back. You see the picture of Miyagi's wife. You see the sign that he had painted. It said, "You know, what's that? Paint the fence." Like, you know, you know, you know, you know, no side to side, go up, down, something like that. But it's the familiar sign that we saw him. You know, it was posted. You remember, it was taped on the, on the door or on the, you know, the yeah, the door into the um dojo. Uh, or you know, in the parking, wherever it was, wherever he he he, you know, he saw it on there. He took it down, and then he went and you know, still doing you know the exercises that he hated doing because he thought he was using them as a you know, <laughs> as a, you know, as pretty much a someone to do his uh, chores, do his dirty work, you know. And we saw what happened with that. It was an amazing scene, where everything was like muscle memory. Everything. That's why a lot of people don't think. They think that it's phony. That's that that that's part. That's that, that's not real. But when I studied a lot of the techniques that Miyagi was showing was techniques that I was being taught. So I know for sure that that was it wasn't it was it was like a clever way the writers got just get a lot of respect for that because it's like it was muscle memory. I mean a lot of people didn't realize that. Especially the scene when, you know, he so show me side to side, show me up down, show me paint the fence, show me wax on, wax off, and then remember when he showed everything, right? And then he just looks at him. And you hear him, you know, you hear Miyagi going Hmm, this and then yeah you know and then he's he just all the moves and then daniel just reacts and he just blocks he kicks blocks his kicks he you know blocks his up you know his upper strike his, you know his um you know his, top, his upper strikes his lower strikes up like that it was really something I, I i loved that i loved that and this thing really took me back and i'm sure it took uh, a lot of people back too and uh, she talked to him about how the night before the her, her night for the wedding before they were married miyagi Took her aside and gave her some advice, and it led to, and it led to you know Daniel. You know, just realizing that yeah he has to do, what, he has to do now. He cannot walk away from this. There's things, man, where it's like you cannot walk away from a fight. Sometimes, sometimes you can, but then, you got to think about. And he was thinking about the consequences. He didn't want to hurt nobody no more. He wanted to lead the students, and then what happens? He people were getting hurt. Johnny was being very reassuring, so was chosen. You know, remember? I, mean, I remember when before they got into that fight with those with that one sensei, chosen and Danny. I mean, chosen and Johnny were, were you know trading. You know, 
stories about Daniel, you know, and stuff like that, talking about how, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, Daniel saying the chosen, you know, I used to, I, you know, I beat his ass, you know, in, in high school, and then, and then, uh, Mr. Chosen said that, you know, well, you know, I, we fought to the death, and then, you know, just going back and forth, you know, da Daniel's son, you know, she, he, uh, saved the girl in, from a typhoon, you know, they're just going back and forth, kind of one-upping each other, but it makes you, lets you just remember great moments in Karate Kid history, it was, it was really, really great, I love that, and it's like they were like one-upping each other, but it's like I said, these two were his arch nemesis, and look at them, they're fighting for Daniel, and they're by his side, who would have thought, you know, great, great writing, these guys who, who, who brought it up, who brought the idea of Cobra Kai, I mean, I give them nothing but this, kudos, man, I, you know, you gotta love the guys for doing that. And, you know, from the bottom of our heart as fans, we are totally appreciate that they brought this back. Because who knew it would have worked? But it does, and it has, and I hope it goes on for a, a number of more seasons. I hope, you know, we could only hope. But, um, yeah, and then, you know, he's like, in, in comes, uh, who was that? Uh, Sam, I mean... Pretty much, you know, they, they all were talking to him. You know, Johnny, Chosen, Sam. And then he said that we all want to help you. And it's like, we, you, you, you all, like, or, or us. Well, you know, it's like, come like, something like he knows that there's more people. Or he's just thinking, like, well, what, what do you mean? And then you open up the door, right, to go outside. And then you see, you see Hawk in there. You see Miguel. You see, you know, Dimitri, and you see all the rest of the familiar ones, you don't know their names, I mean, they've said their names once or twice, but, you know, a lot of them you don't know, right, but you're familiar, but they're all there, they're all there, and Daniel goes in front of Chosen and his wife and Johnny, and he bows to them, or they bow first, the students, and then he, he looks at uh, chosen he looks at Johnny and they put they bow it's almost like that the, the scene from the you know the time that one uh, season when they came together uh, Cobra Kai and I mean, Cobra Kai but uh Eagle Fang and uh miyagi -Do. and you see Johnny and you know and uh Daniel bowing to the students then he does the same thing here and uh yeah we definitely have something brewing something going on I love it I love the fact that these you know, these guys have now come together, especially it means a lot because they came together for Daniel. They showed him that they respect him, they admire him, and this is their sensei. He's their sensei, and they are, you know, they're going to follow his lead. And Daniel's smart. He knows what he needs to do. He's, you, you know, you don't want a hothead like Johnny, and you don't want someone who's just, you know, quick to just jump in there when it comes to, you know, being chosen, you know. I mean, Chosen is a guy who has, you know, he does he does have, uh, you know, the mental acumen on into in him where he does know when to go, when not to go. You know, he's still a, pretty much a hothead. <laughs> I mean, he's just because he's almost like he was the Japanese counterpart of of Johnny. They're kind of they're definitely Chosen and, Je and, and and Johnny are definitely the same, but there are things within them that kind of make them different. Because even Chosen has knows when to go in. To a situation and not Johnny is like uh, he just goes in there with blinders on and then he just goes and attacks doesn't think about the consequences and if he had gone there by himself you know who knows right what would happen if he went to that dojo but uh yeah that's my uh my recap and thoughts you know what I feel how I feel you know my review and everything like that when it comes to Cobra Kai uh, Season 5. This, of course, is the sixth episode entitled Auroboros. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I've heard that word before, but if I have, it's been a long time since I've seen that word because it's kind of hard to pronounce, but I hope I got it right. But, uh, yeah, that's my video. Uh, so, for those of you who stopped by and uh, checked out, check this um, video out. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, for those of you who watch this video, um, please... Uh, Click like and share and drop a comment. Then also, more importantly, uh, subscribe if you like the content that you see. Also, you know, click the bell icon because if you do that, it'll remind you um, when I'm uploading it. I do upload every week one or two videos. Um, 
Also, uh, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. But uh, and anyway, like I said, that's my video. So for those of you who stopped by and checked it out, I appreciate it. And in closing, and as always, take care.